Nation and welcome back to another room build here on the Feed the Weird channel. My name is Chris and we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. We will be building a room but it's not just a room, it is a studio apartment that happens just to be <laughs> one room. So everything is included in this room. You have your bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, dining room and even a little small dinette area for your sims to enjoy a good meal. So I wanted to start something a little different. Not that I don't enjoy doing room builds because that will definitely continue here on the channel. But I wanted to challenge myself a little bit more and start building something new. Not quite a house, not quite a room. So why not just do a studio apartment? And I think I'm going to... Um, extend the series out because I really did enjoy making this um, studio build so that's definitely something that is going to be continued here on the channel so as you can see I wanted to do um, like a step up in one section of the build but unfortunately <laughs> It just didn't work out as planned and whenever I tried to make it into like one room it would cut off places here and there so I just decided to not have the whole um, how can I put it not have the little step up um, bedroom like I was originally planning and just have everything on one floor I will be revisiting it to see if I actually can have a room with a step up feature but I'm not too sure I'll have to experiment on my own time and if, of course if I'm able to do it it will be here on the channel for you guys to see me build so like I mentioned this build has everything that your sim will need in one gigantic room it has a bedroom off to the side it kind of has like a little oak hill for that it has a bathroom a little kitchen a little galley kitchen on the left hand side and then a small living room off to the other side so it is quite spacious surprisingly even though this is a relatively small build I'm trying to think I'm trying to remember exactly what size lot I used it was either I'm pretty sure it wasn't a 20 by 15 I think it was a 30 by 20 but I believe if you want to place this on a 20 by 15 lot, you definitely can. It would be no issues because there is a lot of gapping spaces on the side of the build. So I'm more than likely you can place it on a 20 by 15, especially with that new feature where you can move homes and lots. And doesn't matter if they're bigger lot than what you have. You can just place them down on the... um lot type and then you can resize it to what you want but as you can see we're just popping in all of the main features here and I go back afterwards to just add in some color and some posters and things like that just to give it you know I love to do the homey vibe to things now as you can see um, I was while building and I usually don't do this I had all my custom content in my um in my um my custom content build mode objects like everywhere and it really <laughs> while I was building this it was really annoying because I got to see all the great custom content I downloaded for decor and I was like oh god I really want to use this poster or I really want to use this chair it looks like something that would look so much better than what we have in the game right now so that was a learning lesson for me never to have custom content installed in my game while I'm building because I just get distracted <laughs> by everything and here I'm trying to um I don't know what was I doing I can't remember oh I was looking what was I looking for what was I looking for ah yes I was looking for these little cabinets and I'm pretty sure you could find them without putting retail making your lot of retail out but I just couldn't find them so I had to change the lot type to retail to find these little cabinets because I wanted to put them under the table. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but yeah, here I am just popping in some random things in these boxes. I really, I think those are like my two favorite clutter items that we got from Get to Work for some reason. They just make me happy because 
I feel like I would, I am that person. I have those little boxes scattered around my house with like um, different mail things that I have because sometimes I can get quite anal <laughs> with certain things. I like having certain boxes here and there with like maybe receipts and then other important mail that I just don't want to get lost. So I try to be as organized as possible. And of course, Michaels is always having a sale for when you can get those like 40% off. So I made sure I got those. And then um, you did see me overlapping paintings because I wanted to make it look like it was just um, not sitting, but what do you call it? Like laying against the wall, but not mounted to the wall. And now I'm just putting, popping in some wardrobes here against the wall because I thought that was a, a nice feature because it was looking a little bare over there. So I just changed up some things and I realized I needed to move the desk over a tad bit because it was interfering with the chair. And then we're just going to pop in some windows here. And at first I didn't know what windows to use, but I wouldn't with these ones that we got i believe we got these from get to work as well so i apologize if you're downloading this home and you don't have get to work unfortunately i do use a lot of things from get to work in this build but i have not used any custom content so there are no mods so this should be fel relatively easy for you to download off of the gallery which is available to you so if you want to download this room or studio apartment make sure you can look either for my origin ID which is feed the weird or you can um, just click the link down below in the description box and you will be able to find me but yes yes you can see I put in a dishwasher I think this is my first build where I have a dishwasher actually <laughs> And I remember after I built this room, I was like, okay, I gotta go in and play with this dishwasher. I really want to see how it works. <laughs> I was, it was just embarrassing. I was way too excited when my sim literally used <laughs> the dishwasher. I was just like, yes, this is awesome. But then I just, um, I also put in a trash bin and I put that little yellow one that's usually reserved for kids rooms there because hey you may have a environmentally conscious sim so why not have them have a little recycling bin next to <laughs> their other ones so i thought that was a cute idea and now we're just going into some wall coloring and i don't know i wanted to give this a build a very how can i call it a very cool vibe so i use tones of blues grays and silvers the only thing that is maybe kind of warm-ish is the gold sun which now looking at it maybe i should have made silver but i thought it was a nice contract contract really contrast <laughs> so i didn't want to make it too dark and i didn't want to make it too boring either i also put this really funky green wallpaper um for the back splash of the um of the kitchen and as you can see i'm trying to get the perfect shot <laughs> for the gallery because you know i'm obsessed with that as usual and now i'm just going to be um playing around with the how can i call it i'm playing around with the the patio area because i wanted it to have that feature and the only reason why i put that out there is because hey this is a studio apartment and maybe you guys want to make a maybe a apartment complex so this could easily be added to that and be maybe on the second or third floor so hey there's a patio for your sims to just use and stuff also i wanted like i said this sim may be like a environmentally conscious sim so i wanted to make like a herb wall or a plant wall so originally i think i began with um those other potted plants but I went with these that we got from the spa day expansion pack is it an expansion pack or a game pack I feel like it's just a game pack I'm not sure <laughs> but I used those from the spa day pack and now um, and I didn't put some potted plants on some shelving I did utilize shelving quite a bit in this build more than I have in past builds before and I was really excited about it ah, hold on one second 
Sorry about that. As you always can tell, my phone is going off when I'm doing recordings. I don't know what it is about it. But like I was saying, I use a lot of clutter items on the shelving units that I placed in the kitchen, which I was really excited about because I hadn't really cluttered up any shelving before. Usually I just get really irritated by shelving. <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like I never can fit enough things on there and then of course when you download places they usually just delete so hopefully when you download this build make sure you have moved objects on of course and let me know if it stays or if it deletes because you know Sims 4 is never always very reliable when it comes to move objects sometimes but I just wanted the kitchen shelving to look a little bit lived in because as you can see we don't have that many cabinets and it kind of has like a modern open feel so hello phone <laughs> sorry yeah so it has kind of a modern open feel to the cabinetry so all of the spices sauces um, utensils some wine and then maybe some antique like pots and pans are all up on the shelving right here and I even got some candles up there I was pretty excited about it <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I was like yay I can finally do shelving correctly but I think we're almost done I think we just have to oh we have to do the bathroom I almost forgot about that and I never use these track lighters but I thought I would use it in this build to give it a little bit more of a modern feel again and what do I do? I think I just, yeah, I pop in all of these lanterns to give it mood lighting, but I ended up deleting some and I found out you can place them on the railing, which was really weird. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's because of move objects or if you can place them on there if you want to. I'm going to try that without my move objects on to see if it actually works. But yeah, we're just putting in um, the hallway stuff, which is always usually for me, mirror, coat rack, um, shoe rack, things like that. And then we put in this nice little entry table. I guess that's the best way, <laughs> the best thing you can call it right now. And it's so annoying using these wardrobes sometimes because you can only place two things on there nicely. <laughs> but any who's. We're just going to pop in some standard things in the bathroom, here, toilet, uh, shower tub, things like that. <laughs> Nothing too serious. And then we are going to go into some screenshots, of course. But anyways, if you like this video, make sure you click on the annotation at the end to see more that I have done. And as always, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you would like. Alrighty guys, until next time, keep feeding your weird.